modifier is on this side, this becomes my front. So if that's my front, I need to follow that. All right? When we change it to the drop system, and we want to continue walking over there, let's just see what's going to happen. I'm walking in parallel to here, so her back is lined up towards it. All right? I'm going to change it to the, the, to the cross system. And you notice that now my chest is facing that way. And she's walking towards it. So. This foot, I'm going to change, and when I change, there's going to be a slight twisting action here. So now I'm walking straight forward. And she's the perfect Okay? So trying to get that transition in there is going to be really important. So for the man, again, he's going to have an extra step, so he's going to go walk, 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 and walk. So one of the best ways for us doing this transition to help us line up our bodies, we're moving this way. We're getting ready to take the step here and walk. So I'm coming from this is my front to this is my front. So I'm traveling. This is my front to my partner at all times. But I'm letting her walk backwards along the line, and then I'm going to walk forward along the line. And I'm I am still here in the same contact, and because I'm focused towards the, the broomstick, I'm walking, I know now I'm walking. Okay, so you notice, I'm walking with my left foot and my toe is facing the same direction as my chest. Now, let's keep it up here. As I take this step, by turning it to the front, I create the curve, change my feet, and I'm going to walk. All right? We're going to try that little thing. Now, one of the things that the ladies are going to the followers are going to notice, when you're going back, if we do that turn here, you notice that I... It wasn't that I turned and walked forward. I kind of found the floor and then left my toe turn. And the same happens to us. All right, so what's going to happen for the, for the followers, they're going back in this way, and as it's turning, the heel starts to come off this direction. It's another reason why we get that feeling of the rounding. Just because you put hit the floor here doesn't mean it's going to land in that direction. The curve. Well, I'll take off some it's just that process of finding the floor and where you actually land is not the same direction. Okay. Getting the transition to a cross system, walking, and then using again. I started on this, and as I come from this step to this step, the transition is what led the cruzada. So I'm back in the parallel system again. All right. If we were to just do the walk straight through in the parallel system. When I start, my partner's here as I walk in parallel. So I'm moving at my partner. If I take the step with the turn, my partner's there. As I come through, I need to still point this foot at my partner. So now it seems like I'm I'm walking all it seems like I'm walking crooked on the other side. So I'm in essence kind of facing this angle. As I take this step, I'm now facing this angle. Because that's where my partner is. Alright? So again, you notice that the direction we move and the direction we face are be the same. The direction we face is towards our partner. You know, the direction we move is where we want to go. So again, I'm here, moving this way. I'm going to use the same thing without the weight change here. And now as I step, my body's still focused towards her. This is how we can do that walk, in essence, in a straight line. As I said, it's easier to be going in a straight line and go with the process. Anymore. We use this when we're starting to create turns. And so now the transition from one side to the next. So guys, we always want to feel like, here's our front. I'm moving. I'm moving. From the heel to the toe. It's here. But I'm focusing my body towards the partner, even though my chest goes in. So now you have got from this side to this side. Yeah. So the idea is when I take the step here, what I want to do is I want to use this foot fully extended to put me onto the ball of the foot. Once I'm on the ball of the foot, then I can use this foot. So 
take a step, and then the back foot places me over the balls of the feet. Right? As I said, what ends up happening a lot of times is we miss that last little bit. So we take that step, we get to the ball of the foot, and then we pick up the foot. Right? And this can happen. We start to lose the strength. Now, especially for the men, when we're, going, when we're leading the ladies, I'm going to try to exaggerate this a little bit. We're here. Now, at this point, Beatrix cannot possibly finish her step. And if I kind of stand up here, it's still, there's no way she can finish her step. All right. So for me, one of the most important things for the men when we're leading the ladies, when I take this step, use this foot to push me past my foot until I can feel her go. Now I can move into place. Use this foot to push me past her balance point so her leg starts to pass. This gives me the opportunity to finish the step forward. Finish the step forward. It puts me on the balls of my feet, puts her off the ball of her foot, ready to go to the next direction, gets her leg out of the way before bringing in. So one of the things you can think about is one of the most common poses you should actually see in tango. This right angle triangle is facing each other. I take this step. Now we melt this together so that you don't see that constant. Uh, she's coming through here, and I put my body in front of her. But you notice that I'm coming right through this spot before I bring this in. That way I can get finish my step into my balance point and take that leg and bring it through. And often, and some ladies may know that feeling, it feels like hanging over a cliff and yeah. they can't possibly. And you also get this feeling when you're going into it. You're taking that step, and all of a sudden this feels you feel like this. Yes. You know, it feels like they're yanking on you. And they're not really yanking on you. They're just not letting you finish your step. By bringing the chest forward, by him coming into you a little bit more, that gives you a chance to finish your step, get your balance over the next step. So again, the, the touch that we're looking for is, when I take this step, this point, it's just not comfortable to I need to keep going until I'm yeah. fully comfortable, then I go to the next step. Keep going until she's comfortable, then keep going to the next step. Alright? And then isn't it that you know I'm comfortable because all of a sudden I don't weigh right. anything. I'm light. I'm in myself. Mm -hmm. I hold my own weight. Mm -hmm. And that's a signal for the man, oh, she's in her balance. Yeah. Except a lot of times the ladies end up feeling like this. And it feels like the man's climbing, but he's not. He just hasn't let you finish your step. And you're trying to get onto your foot, but there's no place to go. <laughs> so the, the body's trying to fight it. So you're actually wrapping around his arm rather than him folding it. <laughs> and just on the side, that's the history of Buenos Aires. That's <laughs> what happens 80%. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If they don't trust you, they're not going to let you go. And a lot of them are dancing so flat that they don't finish their step. They're dancing on their heels so we don't take big steps. Because the tourists have all learned, we all have learned so many figures, and we're trying to take nice big steps. So they're going to plant themselves so a little they, more. They, yeah. Yeah, so again, the feeling you want to have for whoever's going forward, because the same thing's going to hold true when we If I'm going backwards and have a lady come forward, I need her to get onto her foot enough so I can finish my step as well. Yeah. When you're doing things like your portraits and holding the brace, we come through here. Right now, she's not on her foot. And if I start turning her, all right, and this happens quite a bit. When the ladies try to do it themselves, again, they hit this spot, and then as they're trying to turn around, they're throwing themselves the opposite direction to finish the step. This is why things start to feel unbalanced. But if we can let that happen, so she comes in here, and she extends the back leg until she's right on the ball of her foot. Now that she balances, we can do as much turn as we want, and it's not going to make a difference. We get into here, as long as she's, her hips are on top of all of her feet, the turn is easy. But if the hips haven't made it, when I start to do the turn, there's a real balance. I have a question.